Can you, can you, can you bounce with me? Bounce with me. Can you, can you, can you bounce with me? Bounce with me. I would have some music on, but then that'd be going against the copyright bullshit that they love pulling out their ass. And they fucked up my radio in my car, so I don't have the luxury of even a radio. Y'all can ride with me, though. It's something I wanted to talk about on consciousness. <laughs> Where your divine masculine is maybe on a... Um, hold on, let me do my seatbelt. Where the divine masculine is maybe enjoying the path that they're on. Because there's some self-discovery in it. Some maturity in it. Some fun in it. I'm testing their gifts in it. And if you've been on the um, DC, you know, in the shadows and shit, living in the shadows, do you not see it go darker kind of shit? You've been living in the shadows. Then, you know, you ain't impressed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, that's real good. Oh, your third eye activator? Look at this shit. I knew about uh, the angel number 111 for like 40 years and shit. So you see how it could be a fucking drag. And it ain't like you would care not being in separation, being in union. It would just be like being humble. You got the humility and the humbleness to be able to just let them vibe with themselves for real and don't rush their um, expansion. Or conscious awareness coming into self, self realizations galore. It'd be more cute than anything. They just may not be doing as bad as some divine fans because divine fans have been in a state of duress for a long time. Time. Some shit men can handle would be the shit that women aren't built to handle, which is the shit that will cause you to rest. Or hella stress. Up to your ears and that shit. <sighs> Seeing the same shit every day is a motherfucking drag. Driving the same shit every day is a motherfucking drag. You be grateful for the car, but then again, you be saying, do I got to keep saying that? You know, <laughs> like I, I am, and I did used to have a better car than this, and now I'm in this. I mean, God damn. Dude, don't mention the motherfuckers that stay riding your ass. You don't know who they is, if they following you, if they doing this and doing that. Nothing is normal anymore. Everything is trying to get some type of notoriety or feed off some type of shit that got to do with what the fuck happens on a mobile app. That is not real life. However, you following me is real life. And me shooting you is also real life. And you say, what are you doing now? I was just following you. This ain't GTA, motherfucker. You ain't on the game. You are on a real street in a real car aggravating somebody's real fucking nerves. They understand exactly what the fuck is going on and don't sit up with that video game shit all motherfucking day. I don't even play that shit. I played arcade games and I had to preserve my wrist because I knew what I wanted to do. So I, I had to get out of rest after a certain age. My mom had a Miss Pac-Man in a, my, uh, her godfather's store that she worked in. And he used to just put free games on there. I ain't have to get quarters. People come in here and put quarters. He would just all set me up so I wouldn't get bored. Plinka, 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 plinka. He put 10 on there. I'd be on there for a minute and then start killing myself so I ain't had to play. Because I was getting bored with that shit. Boo, 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 boo. Stupid.
stupid shit like that. People is ugh. Everything is just so out of whack and disharmonious. Where I live at, and you would be in the house and be excited because you could feel the sun coming through your window. And then when it's time to go run, make a run wherever you're going so you can get a little bit of sun, it'd be back gray skies. You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck around and start snowing. <laughs> you're like, what? Man. I know you ain't lying. Because this is exactly what's happening. You don't know how many times do y'all live where y'all grew up at? When people be acting like they're just so happy. <laughs> That's what gives young people the advantage too. In their twenties and teenagers, cause they knew where you once was and you be like, yeah, that shit gonna wear off in a minute though, so slow down and save it, cause you get ahead of yourself, and the next thing you know, you got to backtrack and clean up a whole bunch of shit. Because you thought you was going somewhere fast, and you going nowhere fast. Stay, stay a bunch of fake fixing the roads where I stay at. Never quite get it done. A pothole today, a sinkhole tomorrow. And a Cinco de Mayo, bitch. Y'all hear that? My car? It's something that gotta be attached. I didn't wanna pay for it to do. To do that. I went to the head to do my muffler after like, some weirdo ripped it off. He was like, I don't think you should have to pay extra for that unless the noise just irritates you. Now I wish I would have got it because the noise do irritate me. You hear how I don't sound like nothing now? And then it just started that? Yep. It needed to just be. Tapped up, tighten up, some shit. He showed it to me. I don't remember that shit. I ain't no fucking man. I don't, I, I ain't, that's enough. <laughs> I'm really not a fucking man. Like, some shit you just don't want to know. Because you want to keep your femininity as much as you possibly can. I already work like one. I don't know, I don't want to know about cars and all. You're about to give, keep giving me all these manly ass positions and knowings. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Gas pan. How about that? Women's liberation. Need a vacation. Get the scene. The scene is lit. <laughs> Graveyards. Tombstones. This is where they usually had a Christmas lights out. It's available for lease. Damn, they was doing them up here, though. It usually be from the top of this all the way down. They did it this year or last year. I was surprised. I was like, damn, they still will keep holding on. Maybe they last time because it's available for lease now. That was an electric company. An electric company. Yep. Shut down. Darn. <laughs> they that fucked up. Oh, wait. Pie holes in my lawn. I be putting my concoction on my tires. What I had came on here and told y'all to put together for y'all self, create something. I swear, I do not. Even if I hit a pie hole, it don't hit like that. When I put that on my tires, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't got a car wash at all though how long but baby talk about I bet that be on my tires I bet that be on my tires like my, my like if I hit one like my tire just pop out of the hole you don't hit it like boom boom what you be saying oh I know I'm gonna need something I be hitting that kind of shit. You ain't got no choice in Ohio. You be hitting on kind of shit. You be trying, but honey, baby, let me tell you something. You got to be a hell of a driver not to. Because it be like you can get around them, but they be like, <laughs> like, I don't even know. <laughs> Just like in sporadic ass 
cluster. It's like, what the fuck kind of obstacle course is this? So you be riding, you be riding a lane, you be in a lane, but then having to weave in and out to not hit fucking chuck holes. And they've been doing the same fixing since I was little. Does that seem strange? <laughs> like, what you mean? Why can't you just get her done? Who knows? I, they be thinking this about jobs. Like, what? You still have to clean the streets. And there's other shit that can be done other places. Can't you fly out and do somebody else's? I'm sure they need the manpower. Kind of shit. I, I, station to station, living in America. This shit could look just like Chile, Brazil, any place. This shit I'm showing y'all, but they got color all up and through there. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? You can't do it. Instead, honey, you just same tad ass scene all the fucking time. Ah, ah, station to station, living in America. <laughs> Hell no. I live in America. I gotta take the streets everywhere I go. It is so aggravating. They just keep tearing my car up for nothing. For nothing, for nothing, for nothing. I'm trying to trap somebody in a house so that you could get robbed and raped. Have all this built up, pent up hatred for you. And it ain't even for you. It's for a nigga that back in the 80s or some shit. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Hola. <laughs> I know the fuck you lying, bitch. Who did it? Because there was, oh, you know what I mean? I ain't did shit, bitch. You lying on me. For real? <laughs> what you mean? Kill me. And I just met you. I wasn't born with you. Okay? You better think, think, think about what you're trying to do to me. Think, think, think. Let yourself go, let your man be free. Let's go back, let's go back. Let's go way back, way back when. I didn't even know you. You couldn't have been too much more than 10. I ain't no psychiatrist and no doctor with degrees. But it don't take a motherfucker to be smart to see what the fuck you trying to do to me. You better think, bitch. Cause I don't even know you. Even if I met you round about 10, bitch, I wasn't born with you. I went to school with you. We went to the same little grade school. Yeah, what you talking about? Pull up. What you talking about? Follow me throughout my life. <laughs> what you talking about? What you what you doing at my door? Can of shit? And then everything in America is public information. Because a motherfucker can just, honey, baby, do their homework. They make it their duty. Like, damn, it's your job. I never told nobody I <laughs> Nuts. I was gonna move in these apartments over here. They are so terrible on the trash part. However, they ain't too bad on the inside. Some cities like where I'm at now, they just they know how to build. This shit is crazy. You would think it's a small ass apartment and going that motherfucker and it's two floors. Like it's up and down stairs. Weird. And they really be looking small until you go in there. Like, how the fuck you got all this room in here? This where you got good builders. They know how to use um, square feet. Gifted and shit. But sometimes you see them big old houses. Don't they just be seeming like they got too much room? Like... And be having two couches, two tables. What's up? What's up? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta go and do that? Uh -huh. Well, all that space you can't build out 
where it don't end up having to be a whole bunch of furniture that ain't needed just to fill the space up so you don't feel like you in a museum all the time. I don't know. But it's beyond me. You gotta literally dodge a pothole then dodge a car. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> For real. Shit, stupid, 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 stupid. Now here go. Here, here, here you go. Go ahead. And go ahead because you got a Jeep. And would you come on so I could get over? That'd be great. Thank you. We live in America. <laughs> This is the city I lived in when I had my son. It ain't too bad. Where I lived at, it sucked. It was infested. Like uh, whoever the people were next door, they had to have roaches or something. Roaches have a smell. I didn't have roaches. I somebody did, because I don't know what the fuck they smell like when people got them bitches. Talk about stank stank. So being pregnant, smelling that shit, and then they would like, they would not like, they would plug in or spray this fucking spray. Ooh, ooh. Some type of air freshener. That shit about to make me girl right now. I ain't about to talk about it no more. No. No. Y'all better be going to Popeyes to get them six wings. So we can do some magic for Ricky Rose on the black hand side. Got them chickens floating over this Pacific, the Pacific. I live in Walmart. <laughs> oh, we. What would the world do without what? What would America do without Walmart? I don't know. I don't know. We be leaning independent on um, Walmart. Now we leaning independent on Amazon. And then you got some off-brand shit like Timu trying to take Amazon money. They don't understand how shit go. Everybody want American, America's way. And they want to benefit. However, they don't understand how business is done. Some people do. Some, some people don't. You will have foreigners come here and understand it. And Americans don't. I had a landlord that wouldn't sell, wouldn't wouldn't rent out to nobody that did hair. Because he already had me doing hair. So anybody that wanted to do hair, he wouldn't rent to him. That's how you're supposed to do it. So you don't end up with a whole bunch of shit and competition and stupid shit. And then they saying you know. And if you do it, you're only going to do a certain amount. You know what I'm saying? But people would try to rent right next door to me and shit like that. He wouldn't do it. I appreciated it a whole lot. Man, I'll be pleased with him. Okay, y'all. I'm about to come up out of here. And then I may come back on. I may not. See ya.